Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is The Faces Strategist and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. This time we're playing uh what you might call it <coughs> Witch Hunt. And we're basically I'm basically gonna split this into two parts I believe. Uh in any case there are only two quests here. First one is the search for Morrigan, which is the first and the last quest, basically. The second one is the history of Kad, Kad Kalesh. And we're going to do both of them. Get him. Get him. Lower your weapon. Fucking get her neck. Fine. I am Ariane of the Dalish. My keeper sent me to find Asha Belinar, the woman of many years. Flemeth is dead. Many have tried to kill Asha Belinar in the past. Do not claim victory until a few centuries have passed with no sight of her. We thought she could help us find her daughter, Morrigan. The young witch has caused trouble for my hmm. clan. Has she earned your ire as well? I love her. They say she is beautiful, but I have never heard anyone claim she is capable of love. Mm -hmm. I stole an ancient book my clan has guarded since the days of Arla Fan. We were the only ones with such a piece of our history. Everything we once had. I'm uh, actually finishing Inquisition and all of this is just blah. How do you know Morgan stole it? Ah, uh, blah 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 blah. How do I skip conversation? My keeper, Solon, says it was mm -hmm. something the ancients called Eluvian. The word is as old as the book itself, and its meaning has been lost. Save the habit to Morgan. So what now? We both want Morgan, and we can aid each other. Bitch, I'm the motherfucking Grey Warden of a legend. By an elven mage who stole it from the circle of magi before defecting. He said other similar treasures were mm -hmm. I'm from the circle. I look forward to working with you. Don't try any funny business. Hmm. Yeah, fire. Well, let's actually move on. We will be traveling to the circle of Magi, and of course, you have the dark spawn to deal with. Don't know why the dark spawn, but I am a great warden, so it is my duty to kill the dark spawn. Yes. Okay, let's actually expand that, and let's move on. Uh, in any case, there's a bunch of more dialogue to be had, and I'll meet you at the Circle of Medrai. Okay, once you're here at the center of the library, in the Circle of Magi, what you're going to want to do is go from A to F, and you're going to go a catalog of Elven Relics. Leave. Then, basically, what you're going to want to do is head over here. The mysterious artifact section, examine it. Catalog of Elven Relics. New. I think it makes up part of the word Olivier. That's hardly helpful. This is a library, isn't it? Perhaps another book could help us. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, that will update the quest. Then what we need to do is go back here. Go to the left, T to Z. Translating Urban Languages. Book is in the History section. Then what we need to do is go here. To the right. And go into the History section. There's I think other languages. Take book. Then what you're gonna want to do is head back over here to the right. To the right again. Go to the mysterious artifacts. Catalog of Ellen Relics. Continue. You're in my light. Look, I'm in the middle of something important. Yeah, yeah, this is basically dialogue. Okay, next up will actually be going to the quest marker and talking with Hadley to get the key. Then we'll be going down to the basement to take care of some of the sentinels. So go ahead and talk to Hadley. Okay, when fighting the sentinels, it's very important that you kill the sentinels. Then what you're gonna want to do is actually just destroy the rips in the veil. Ah, stairs. My mortal enemy. There we go. Here we have some old vials. Okay, that'll just trigger some dialogue. In any case, we're just going to go through here. Open this up. Then we will need to talk to this statue right here. A prison I see the in the darkness. He seems afraid. Okay, next up is basically killing everything in here. <coughs> and if you, with the Mabari. There we go. Okay, in any case, our next stop will be Kadash Taig. It's a large area, and here we will actually start the history of Kada, Kad Kalash. And basically we have one, two, three, four codexes that we need to find. And I will show you the location of each one. Well, first of all, we need to deal with a bunch of these assholes. So, I'll just cut to the location of anything interesting. Okay, in any case, here is the first one. You're gonna want to step in it. And that will reveal these little wisps here. Now basically what you're gonna want to do is just follow the wisps to the next magical vortex. And repeat until you're done. Okay, now the first piece of history is by the second magical vortex. So just a second ago I showed you the first. That one over there is the second. And on the map it's right on over here. So this is the first, the second, right on over here in this chest and that will actually officially start the history of Kadesh 
Now we'll need to head to the second vortex and that will reveal right on over there. So we will need to head in here and we will get the light of Arlathan and that will awaken some ancient elven guardians. And we will basically need to repeat this a bunch of times. Okay, now we're here between the fourth and the fifth magical vortex. We discovered another lantern. And we're just going to go in this little corner here. And we're going to get the Vorn Journal, which is the second codex entry that we need. So, that'll be it for now. Okay, now... For the next one, from the 6th vortex, which is right here, we're going to go in this little alley right here. And that will give us another torn letter. And then what we will need to do is to actually go over here, over the bridge, like so. And on this bone here is a scrap of paper and I'll complete the history of Kadesh then we need to step on this one to reveal the final location okay now we're in now we're uh, in the ancient elven ruins just piss on over there there are no significant items here that will actually help you, but there will be a bunch of enemies. There we go. That should take care of those assholes. These are infected elves. And basically, I will just show you the important things. So, I'll see you in a little bit. Now, you should kill the infected key master. He's usually here, but he will run off to right about here. If you kill him, loot the key from his body. Here you will be able to get the Sarlos of Arlathan, which is a nice little bow, and with the key you'll be able to proceed this way. Otherwise you can go around, and you basically need to... There we go, we have a bunch of shrieks here. Let's just mind blast them. There we go. Uh, in any case, this DLC is isn't really that hard. In any case, deal with them. Then, with the key that you got, you can actually reach this area here. And you can get a shard. Okay. Then you can just scry it. Then just protect him from the demons. Because there will be plenty of demons to keep you company. Okay, now we're in the Dragonborn Wasteland. In the Dragonborn Waste. Now it's important that you don't actually kill him with your spells like I did. You have a landmark skull right in front of, the, right in front of you. So just go ahead and piss over it. And I'll just jump to anything interesting that happens, but you'll mostly be dealing with cultists and dragons. So yeah, just so you know. That's what you'll be dealing with. So, get ready for that. Okay, and here we will fight that. Because she's not actually the people. Now you should probably get away from the corrosive acid that's on the ground. It has some magical resistances as well. So this will be a semi-tough fight, in all honesty. 
he will actually jump away and you will have little mini dragons to actually keep you company it will sometimes paralyze you like so and it will jump it does deal a hefty bit of damage there we go uh, it is very tough there we go we have some dragons again you can of course freeze it petrify it and all that good stuff but it's mostly resistant to nature damage but there we go without uh, the fight will last longer since my character is built like a fucking god there we go, we'll unlock the codex for it. It doesn't drop any loot. So we're just going to go to the central power here. <coughs> and that will... This is basically the end. Now, based on your choices, you can either kill her, run off with her, etc, etc. It all depends. But there she is. <sighs> what is your plan? plan is to leave and prepare the child for what is to come. Such preparation requires time and power. I must have both. Something tells me I did not fully romance her. I dare not say. No more questions. I'm not here to talk about your mother. I thought I knew what Flemish planned. I thought what she craved. Oh, you don't even know. I was wrong. So very wrong. She is no love. No abomination. She is not even truly human. That is right. Yeah, that is true. And this is what you want to be free. I cannot carry long. The 
time has come for me to go. Take me with you. Want to be with you no matter what. And there we go, that's the happy ending. Basically, if she's fully romanced. Alternatively, if you hate her, you can stab her and kill her. Well, supposedly kill her. You know, when you play the latest parts and everything, the story kind of gets meh. In any case, that's basically it. It's finished. We'll go through the portal. Raise your child together and whatnot. Really fun stuff. Totally unrealistic, but hey. Okay. Hey kids, that's it. The entire DLC I believe in under 20 minutes. So yeah.